<laughs> Welcome back to the EFAN. We're on our fifth or sixth meltdown for the day so far. But if you guys watched Marcy's video, or our live last night, we made banana bread. Turned out absolutely amazing. We made this actually in the air fryer. And Harvey's ready. Are you ready for some? Yeah! Yeah! I never had no idea we made it. We need a knife to cut this. That's so much better, bud. What about you? Huh? Were you boys hangry or what? <laughs> Full on. Pretty tasty? Is it good? Yeah. Harvey loves it. So the boys have one without chocolate chips. I have one with chocolate chips. So I'm pretty excited about that. Marcy's the best. She makes me ones with chocolate chips. How'd you sleep? I would say like a rock, but uh, I was up twice, so. <laughs> you were up twice, I was up twice. Yeah, I got up at 1.30 with Paxton. I got up at 2.30 with him. I got up at 1.30 with him. And then, I, no wonder why, when I got up at six, his diaper was so full. Yeah. So I had to get up and change his diaper. And then he woke Harvey up. And it was like 6.17 when Pax started getting up. And when I pulled him out of bed, he freaking found that water bottle. It was so annoying. I couldn't get it out of his hand, and I didn't want him to scream because it was like late enough that I didn't want him to wake Maverick up. Oh, it was a nightmare. Yeah, I just heard the bottle crinkling, and I turn over, and you're gone. And I was like, why the heck is she playing with the bottle? <laughs> no. It was just like a water bottle that Harvey had been playing with yesterday. It was so annoying, but I didn't want him to lose it and wake Mab up. Luckily, I didn't wake up. I got them both back to sleep. What time did Matt wake up? 7.30 maybe. Okay. I woke up with Harvey at 6. Yeah. Uh, Maddie, next time you can get up and change your diapers. Really, it's like wrestling packs in. Like, it's a full body. It's a WWE pack. match every time I have to change diapers. Y'all seen our last video? We ended up selling all of our chickens. And well, it's kind of nice in a way. We don't have them running all around the yard and it gives us time to get our farm put back together to the way it should be. Get everything refinished. I haven't used the lawnmower. Oh, dang it. The seat is wet. Gosh, dang it. I don't want to sit in a wet seat. Might have to sit on a piece of plywood. Whew, it's been a while since we've run the lawnmower. Let's see if the tires are still holding any air. Looks like it. I don't know where your shovel is. Where'd you put it? Where's the screwdriver that was right here, buddy? Oh, it's on our other side. Where? What happened to the lawnmower? I need the screwdriver to turn it on. But where'd you put the screwdriver? Why did you take it? Oh, it's a little dirt. That's ice. I'm still having to hot wire the thing because, well, it was the end of the season and I didn't bother fixing the problem yet.
getting close. Yeah, I'm gonna have to push it. What? You need my help push it? Yeah, I probably do. Can you help me? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna push that side. I'm putting this right there. I'll do this right there. <sighs> Wowza. Thanks, Marcy, for helping. I got pushed over close enough. We'll just throw it on the charger, air up the tires. They're not flat, flat, but they're a little low. And hopefully we'll have it running here in a little bit because I need it for a project we're about to do. All right, charging. I got it all hooked up to the charger. Hopefully it will charge pretty quick. Let's go help these animals. Let's get them some feed. <laughs> It is weird not having the chickens here, you know, running over to steal as much feed as they can. Totally, totally different. We also, I gotta fill up their water here. It finally unfroze all the way, so I can go ahead and dump it, wash it out, and get it filled up. Home. You got rocks for home. Yeah, this is isn't. This is called gravel. How about we get some gravel by our house, so I don't have to carry it the whole time. Oh, yeah, just put it in here. Oh, don't put it in there. Well, Mommy will never be able to get it out. Well, you get here, out. I'll put it right, right here. We'll show Daddy when we get home. Okay, we're almost there. Boys, you two doing good. I haven't heard a single word. This part of the road is so hard to go on because it's like half slanted. So I feel like I'm walking sideways. Like look at the road, like it just like curves. Some rocks? Let me see. <laughs> Can you just close. throw them? Yeah. Show those ones to Daddy. Nice. Go put them in the hole. You can help me fill it. Woo! It. That's a good one, man. Baby, where's your shovel? What? Yeah. He said, I can't find it. You should go find it for me. I found it. Just leaning up against the tree. Hopefully this does the trick for him. Mammy loves like working with his dad and so maybe I'll push the boys up to Crandall so then they can watch too because Harvey just has his head turned to look at him. Has his head turned trying to see what Crandall's doing. And Paxton, okay, 
I didn't think any little boy could love outside more than Maverick. I was wrong. Paxton loves being outside. Yesterday, he just cried all day because it was kind of rainy and muggy and cold. So we didn't let him outside yesterday. And he just sat at the window and cried like all day. And it was like, well, what's wrong with him? And I was like, he just wants to go outside. Now he's outside today. It's pretty nice. I mean, I have a coat on and the boys have a coat on, but like that's just for the wind. Otherwise, like in the sun, it's pretty nice. Excuse me, Daddy. Oh, good job asking, excuse me. Why don't you get a wheelbarrow? Go put it over there. Nice, just like that. That's a big rock. A hunk. I just, Ooh. What? I just got muddy. I just don't want to like get a flat tire. Uh, from driving on cement, Marsh? What are roads made out of? From hitting a rock. <laughs> no, it's rounded. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, so Can I'm, put some dirt right here? I'm building Marcy's yard one shovel full at a time. It's muddy though. Yeah. Don't like goose. You never, goose isn't gonna eat your shovel, honey. You tried to. Oh, I got it. Look, I'm holding it. What? Dad, let's do it. Ow. You know, that's probably how I have dirt on me. From Abby. Marsh, I'm just digging holes. It's your favorite thing to do. Mmm. <laughs> smell of dirt so good see and I was thinking about when we were on our walk how it smelled like a crisp cool morning and it reminds me so much of camping that sound was horrible that one yeah it makes my front teeth hurt so bad give me some back oh Mavic key come over here Get this out with a scoot steer. Oh, uh. what is dirt? What is dirt stuck to it? Something yeah. so nice to have out. There's dirt stuck to it, Daddy. It. I think it's on a rod. Do you need help? Here, mommy, film. Mommy's gonna help. Oh, I got it. I was just trying to be helpful. Hey! <laughs> You know how long that's been there? For ages. Wow, Colonel, I think this is the first time I've seen you fill a hole that you just dug. They probably don't know what you're talking about. Colonel had this bad habit when we first moved here that he would go around and he'd dig different holes and he'd just leave them. And they were like not small holes. They were like big holes. I think there's one. Did you fill this one over here? That one, well, that was from when I pulled out the big old railroad tie. Yeah. But I did feel it because the freaking mower kept falling in it. I was going to, like, I see Mav walking out here and I'm like, is he going to fall in that hole? Or there's like a hole over there. Is he going to fall in that one? So it's just funny that Colonel finally filled the hole at the I same time. I think they're time. all filled, actually. Even the big one out in the backyard? Yep. You filled that? Or yeah. halfway filled it? Oh, I filled that. Oh, wow. Good job, love. Thanks. I'm progressing. That kid's going to need a bath. At least we haven't got him dressed for today. Yeah, no kidding, right? Well, that looks a lot better. We'll probably pack it down and then... I was going to get the mower because there's a bunch of gravel in that dirt right there. So I was uh -huh. going to get that because that's got gravel in it. So after we pack it down, I guess I'll, once the lawnmower works again, pick up What that do you think is wrong with the lawnmower? It just hasn't run and it's got a ton of rain. I think it's got water in the gas or oh, okay. something like that. So You'll just need to summarize it. Yeah. Waffles, are you just sunbathing? Yeah, what the heck? Your boys are liking it out here. Yeah. Well, pa Harvey's, Paxton's favorite place is outside. Even more than Maverick. Hey, Mavi. I see a big rock. Can you get it? Right there. Keep going. I nope, love that going. he's still doing it with Keep going. Head. In the grass. Look, look at me. You see it? Yeah. yeah, go grab it. Go put it in the pile. Over here on the driveway. 
Where were, where were Mark He's probably so confused her? because you had him pick up all of the rocks from the driveway, and now you're having him add them back. Yeah, sure. Watch him on this curb. Look like. That one. Uh oh. <laughs> oh you wouldn't even go on a hill. Ready? Ah. Uh. My question is, is how does Harvey pick it up quicker than Max? Harvey's going momentum. It's never going to start if I don't have the kill switch off. I have to push the brake, remember? Freak. <laughs> I love being able to take the boys outside and play with them. Uh, I can't wait for them to walk a little bit better, which by the time spring really rolls around, I mean, it's January. It's nice weather, but it ain't spring yet. Uh, so hopefully by the time that rolls around, they'll be fully walking. Oh, and we could end up park. Think you might go to the park today? Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. So they're fully walking on the inside, like when they don't have shoes on, but with their shoes, it makes it a lot harder for them. But that brings us to today's video because, oh my gosh, our lives literally changed overnight. It was absolutely crazy. They went from taking two or three steps to full on walking, at least without shoes, literally overnight. Not to mention they got five teeth that same week and we took away their binkies. It's been a big week for us. We've had a lot of less sleep. A lot of less. Yep. We've had a lot less sleep. It has been an absolute wild last week, week and a half, but they are fully mobile on their feet now, like I said, without their shoes. Uh, so I guess if we don't want them walking around in the house, we can just put their shoes on. That's true. There's so, certain areas that we just now, like, we don't open our pantry door, we don't open the bathroom door, we don't open our bedroom door, we put a lock on our laundry room, laundry room and we're going to put a lock on our trash can because... Yes. This then one loves Harvey, the trash. Harvey's favorite thing is the trash. Absolute favorite thing. And Pax, so, and this is Pax's favorite thing. So this is hilarious. Yeah. Pax, and whenever he comes yeah. in the house, he'll go grab yeah. one clothes, a shirt, pants, or whatever. From and he'll his just... drawer. It has to be from the drawer. He won't pick it up off the floor. Yeah. But he'll go pull it from the drawer. he pull it from the drawer, and then he'll just carry it around. Yeah. You want to get changed? You want pants on or what? What are you saying? Yeah. It was cute the other day. He just grabbed it, threw it over his shoulder, and he was walking around with it just like hanging off his shoulder. <laughs> it was there so cute. There's a banana on the floor. Oh. Goose must have dragged that banana over there then. So it's made things a lot of fun having him be able to walk. I love it. Maverick loves it. Although he realizes he's not the only kid now. And, uh, and he has to share daddy time. And he has to share daddy time and everything else. So it's, there's definitely a lot of transitioning going on this week. So I'm gonna throw together a quick little lunch that we usually, well, we usually do it for dinner, but it's two of these rice packets, peppers, onions, and sausage. I think we showed y'all before, uh, but we're just trying to figure out what the heck we're gonna do for lunch. And I think this is what we're gonna do. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Oh, a good one. I mean, look at this kid. He's a full-on gymnast now. 
Where are you going? <laughs> also, he's half naked. All of our kids are like wearing half their clothes today. <laughs> but it's crazy that they went from not walking to totally walking overnight. And uh, yeah, pray for us. It's a wild, wild house here in the Eldritch household. Absolutely wild. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you guys haven't, go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow along, and we'll see you guys on the next video.